What is up everybody? This is Lyle with No Hippie Barbecue and a while back I had a subscriber ask me to do a video on making steaks in the oven. I posted that video and in that video I used two cast iron skillets and I cooked that steak to medium. Well, come to find out she only has one cast iron skillet so we're going to use that technique today and she likes her steaks medium which the last one I did was. As a matter of fact, I'm going to leave a link to that video in my card above if you happen to like a steak that's a little bit uh, more done. This one we're going to do rare to medium rare using the same technique, kind of, but we're only going to be using one cast iron skillet for this technique. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and get some seasoning on this steak. In my last video I used the truffle oil. This time I'm just going to go ahead and use a little bit of olive oil. And we are just going to uh, throw the seasoning on. Now the seasoning I'm going to be using is some seasoning that was sent to me and made by Howland Smoke Barbecue. I'm going to leave a link to his YouTube channel in the iCard above and description below. And basically what this is, is it's kind of a, a coffee rub. And I've tasted it and very little salt in this. And it has a lot of... Uh, Paprika, cayenne pepper, and like I said, it does have that coffee rub. We're going to go ahead and season this pretty liberally. Flip it over, get the other side. And while I'm working on this, I do have my oven preheating to uh, 200 and, I think I'm going to 220 degrees on this one. And this steak has already been resting for about uh, 15 minutes. It's going to have about another 10 minutes to uh, come up to room temperature. And then we're going to go ahead and get it in the oven. Our oven is preheated to 220 degrees. We're going to go ahead and throw this in. And I'm also going to throw my cast iron skillet in so it can start getting heated up right now. It should take about 20 minutes for us to get to. I'm looking for a temperature between 114 and 116 degrees. Alright guys, so this came to 116 degrees. I took it out of the oven. We're going to let this rest for about 15 minutes. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and throw my oven on broil. Uh, first of all, because we're going to actually be using the broil setting on this. And we want that cast iron skillet that I have in the stove to get as hot as possible. Alright, the steak is at about 10 minutes to rest. I'm going to go ahead and pull this cast iron skillet out that's been in here on broil. This thing should be super hot right now. What we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and hit it with some of that butter, a little bit of the olive oil. And just like something I would do, I, did, I didn't have my tongs out. We're just going to go ahead and throw this steak in here. We're still on broil in the oven. We're going to go ahead and, actually, you know what, I wanted to get some butter on that side. Sorry about that. We're going to go ahead and flip it now. Got to throw it back in the oven. And it is on broil right now. So the concept is, is that the skillet is, is hot enough to sear uh, the meat side that's touching that. And then we're also going to get it seared from the broil. This should only take about a minute, maybe a minute and a half. We're going to want this to be about 125, 130 degrees. Out of the oven, I'm going to go ahead and take this out, the skillet, let this rest for a little bit. And while this steak is resting, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and pour the, the uh, liquid that was in our pan over the top of this just to give it a little extra something. I think that's going to turn out perfect. So this is a wrap. My carryover temperature only got to 130 degrees, so I'm pretty good on this. Let's go ahead and cut into this and see if this is as rare as I'd like it to be. There we go right there. That is perfectly rare. I'm going to go ahead and... It's maybe on the cusp of being medium rare, but it's more rare than medium. Let's go ahead and taste this. That 
that's a good rub. I'm a fan of using coffee on steak anyway. And since my boy sent me some, it was already pre-made. I think that was a nice little, nice little rub. Usually my coffee rubs don't have as much of paprika or cayenne or whatever he has in there, but nice tasting rub. Anyway, like I said, run over to his channel. I'm going to go ahead and cut this stuff up, take a picture, and I'm out.